Deposits are ringing two bagger and right center field. Complain about the play of the second baseman, Jackie Robinson. Leading Robinson by example, the these standout three. second basemen were the rocks around which great teams were built. Though rarely cast as headliners, their contributions are often the difference between victory and defeat. Today, the new stars at second base are some of the game's most complete players. Chase Utley, Ian Kinsler, Dustin Pedroia. seasoning down here, but he's definitely on the radar as a future big leaguer. All right, Rex, and we'll get to Dave shortly, but now we'll have a look at our starting lineup presented by Majestic. Number 30. We'll leave things off. He's the designated hitter tonight. John Baker bats second behind the plate. Number 26 bats third and plays left field. Number two is the cleanup hitter. He'll be in center. Number 28 is the right fielder hitting fifth. Number five will bat sixth and play second. Brian Hindley, the shortstop, batting number seven. Number 23 is at first base. He'll bat number eight. Number eight is in the ninth spot. He will play third. Brian Bullington will be on the mound to face them, and if he's going to be successful against these hitters, he's going to need to keep the ball down in the strike zone without question. Quickly a look now at the defensive alignment they'll face in this one. Well, the manager gave me a few days off to try to rethink my, uh, rethink myself. And honestly, it's a good thing because I actually haven't played him on this game in a while. You know, I kind of probably had like, uh, you know, a few games a couple weeks ago, but this is going to be very interesting. I have no clue how it's going to go, but we're just going to have to, the going to open for the best at this point. Number two will be the batter. Number 30 will be the I'm, I'm really worried, I, I'm not going to lie, just because just it's been a while since I played, you know, I told you I had my five years, please go. And second with one away. But we're just going to have to hope for the best here. On the ground to second base, this could be two. Relay to first in time, and just like that, the side is retired. It's a fancy way to start that off. So they let him off the hook here by scoring no runs despite the two walks. So it's on to the bottom of inning number one, no score. We'll jump ahead now to the bottom of inning number one. I thought I'd be hitting run up there, but there was no... That's not happening because that's where he's going to get his Number eight will take his cuts now. I find fight on like my bag are still like pretty good with like a uh, 339, but like I just it's, I struggle as a blade, it's pretty bad. And that's taken for strike one. As much as I wanted to swing at that, I feel like taking it was a better option just so I don't like worry too much. Take that one too. It's 0 and 2 now. I hate knuckleballs with a passion right now, just to get close. Knuckleball, and he can't pull the trigger. It's a called strike three for route number two. And I think if he had a white flag, he'd be waving it right now.
I guess I should have said that out loud and I hate the knuckle ball passion. That's that was really embarrassing. Oh, that's so stupid. I hate that thing. There's no, there's no clue where it goes. Brian Hindley will step in now. If I was to make a picture version, I'd probably wouldn't even have a knuckle ball. That's, not, that's just how much I hate it. Hard towards the hole. No, god damn. And that's past the diving infielder for a base hit. Time to move forward to the bottom of inning number three. I thought I could get it. That's so uh oh, whatever. Number eight will step in. He's over one thus far. I thought if I go for it, I thought I could get it, but apparently that wasn't the case. It's so dumb. I just pretty much dirty my jersey for you for no reason. center field and that's in there base hit but it's way late and he's in there number 35 digs in at the plate I could have gone for a second there but I wanted to make sure that we try to score a run in this inning it would be nice hopefully I'll get picked off for that point there is a fastball right there for strike one. Matt tried to work the fastball in on the label. That was a good pitch. It's also good to know that it's two outs. I can just run any contact no matter what happens. From the belt, the pitch. Oh, and crap, 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 crap. But he's safe at first as he gets back in. Why did it make me, like, run towards second at the last... The last... Right, the last second uh, as I... Making a late jump. I don't understand that. Now a swing and an easy fly ball out toward right center. Number 28 is there and he puts this one away for the third out. So a great job there of working out a potential trouble. So it's no runs on two hits, no errors, and two men left stranded. Three innings complete, and we are tied nothing nothing. We'll move ahead now to the top of inning number four. That late jump track still just shows how rest I am in this game apparently. That is ridiculous. Number 30 will step in. A couple of walks thus far. I don't think they're going to walk this guy out again, so... That's a good thing. Forget how many outs are. Two outs. Runner goes for second. Pitch is a cold strike. The throw. Not in time as he steals second. Not much of a lead that time, but he just put his head down and beat the throw to second. That was frustrating. We're down to nothing, too. Let me try to get back in this. Well, that's fantastic. I did. I don't know. I don't know if that's what happened. So just whatever. Number eight. We'll dig in. One for two thus far. I'm not having close down eight nothing at this point. That's freaking stupid. And of course, this knuckleball guy still in the game. Lays off one and zero, and he's starting to get up there in pitches now. Worth keeping an eye on. Wow, he just got robbed in that first pitch. That should have been a strike. And this one is past him, and that could be a run. So the lead runner holds on, but the trailer will take second. No doubt they'll score this one as a wild pitch, but they might have been crossed up a bit that time. That fastball wasn't even close. Actually, no, it was a slider, my bad. Swinging a hard hit ball back up the middle. Maybe and two runs? Yes! Now both the runners are across. Looked like he guessed right that time as he was locked in on the fastball. That's a good A.B. Number 35 will be the batter. One for two thus far. Well, hopefully I'm off that slump, but uh, it's still a long way to go to, keep, to get back in this game, unfortunately. Pause, now the pitch. Now a ball hit in the air, but in play perhaps down the line. 
Ah. Number 26 is there, makes the catch, and the side is retired. So it's two runs on three hits, no errors, and a runner left on. We're through five here at the ballpark. The Zephyrs lead it eight to two. Yeah, back back four and eight, so screw us over. That, that just, that's hard to that's hard to overcome at that point. We only have three innings left to get back in it. I don't think we can. Brian Hindley will stand in. Two hits in two trips thus far. Two hits and a walk for this guy. Uh, I'm, I'm, this is frustrating, guys. Fastball swung on and grounded out towards second. And the throw to first is in time, so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. I would love to get back in this game, but I just, it's not going to happen, I know it for sure. Especially when, like, leading guys, letting guys get on base like that. Two walks? First, no. Okay, stupid. Number two will dig in. 0 for 4 with a strikeout thus far. I'm going to get this guy out of the column. second this could be two the second for one on to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning all right so let's make a magical comeback this next step that have now last uh, in this game so that's fantastic uh, it's not 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 pretty oh well at least like I've had a good game to this point Take a strike. Yeah, cool. Thanks. Um, I think I saw him at 2 0 last time. Number eight will dig in, looking for hit number three in the ball game. I think last time I swung at 2 0, so that's why I like. So that's why it's trying to take a strike. Yep. And that, 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 that forcing is in the same spot as 2 C last time, which is pretty interesting. Right hander against right hander, as this is a ball 1 0. How small is my strike zone, for crying out loud? I want to know, because that should have been a strike. Lays off again, and it's 2-0. Oh. Well, sometimes umpires will reward a patient hitter. That looked like a strike to me. Ever since that first step out, it was a strike that was not the ball. I just been, like, getting, getting really patient, apparently. So that's really interesting. Is this one in there for a high strike? I can't tell you how much I wanted to swing at that, but no, I just had to take a strike because that's that's what the man told me to do. Oh, he pulls the string on one there, and from two and zero, oh, he works the count back to two and two now. That that changeup was lower than the other one. It was called strike. I, whatever. Most inconsistent if I've ever seen, apparently. Started to chase that time, but then he wisely holds off for ball three. And he'll sling that thing across the strike zone, but he can't nip the corner. Almost had a foot slider. That was close. Payoff pitch coming. On the ground to second base. This could be two. The tag gets one. On to first, and they get them both. The full mountain. This is just a case of a guy having to protect with two strikes, and he chased one out of the zone. Yeah, I definitely got fooled on that one. That was bad. That was bad way to end it. An entertaining game by and by, so let's go ahead, Dave, and make this fella right here a deserving recipient of our Upper Deck Player of the Game Award. Yeah, well, he really drove the ball well in this one. Six RBIs in the game. I'd say that's a pretty good day's work. So that brings us to the conclusion of this one. For my colleagues Dave Campbell and Rex Hudler and all of us here at the show, this is Matt Vaskersian saying thanks for joining us here this evening. Once again, our final score, the Zephyrs win this thing 13-2. This has been a presentation of MLB 09 The Show. For more information, log on to MLB09.com. So long, everybody. As if we were already beaten bad enough after eight innings, they had to score. They had to score five more. That's so. That's so ridiculous. That pitching staff needs need some work or something. That's just not fair at all. I really wish I like taken that fourth that 
I wish, really wish I didn't swipe all four there either. That was that was pretty bad. At least I got my batting average back up. I had decent. I I drove in the only two runs of the game for my team. That's so. Uh, the rest of my team didn't really do much either. Like they badly just pulled two two fifty in that one. Ah, uh, so whatever. Like that that pitching step did horrible, and, that, and the error doesn't help. Errors don't help much either. So that really feels. That's really frustrating when you just. Your pitching staff just lets you down, and I guess the error like is probably like the biggest uh, blow in, in the game. To be honest, I think if we didn't have the error, that would, that would, we might have been able to have a chance. I don't know where the error came from, so that just that just makes it all more frustrating. Thanks, because I know it didn't come from me. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If, we, if you did, please like, share, comment, subscribe, ring both notifications, and name the new kind of channel where it's more LB09 and the road to the show or anything else. Otherwise, follow me on Instagram for updates on the channel. I love doing this. Hope you guys enjoy watching Do I Love because it's as frustrating as some of this may be, it's been fun. I'll see you on the next one. Take care. Bye.